So I have a problem with my data set here. If you can see it clearly on screen here, I'm going to try to focus, but these contact pins on the connector here are a little bit messed up. Some of them are okay. Some of them are pushed back further than others, and one of them is just completely pushed all the way back. There's a little bit better. Some of them are bent out of shape, and uh, I'm going to try to see if I can't replace those connector pins. One of the connector pins here isn't even retained in there. The little uh, clip on the connector pin there that holds it in place is completely broken off. So I went online and I found these. There's the uh, manufacturer's part number there. These should be the correct replacement for these. But of course these new ones are not completely bent out of shape like the old ones. So the trick to getting these pins out of the connector is to push something in and get underneath this retaining clip to push it out of the way so that you can extract. So, I've taken pictures of this so I know which wires to put back where. Drop this underneath there. Try to push the wire and the pin forward. And get up underneath and pull out. There we go, they're all removed. And the, uh, the plastic should be okay. I don't think that's damaged really. I can only imagine that uh, inserting this into the VIC-20 or the C64 at the wrong angle or catching the edge of a copper pad ended up pushing these things back and bending them out of shape. These may not be exactly the same part, but they are really close. The main difference being on this side, the originals, the insulation portion of the crimp right here is much smaller than the one on these. Uh, these may be intended for a larger gauge wire. I did this one here and it didn't turn out as bad as I thought. This is the first try. So strip a little bit of the wire, tin the wire, and then crimp down on the insulation here first. Uh, and then I just uh, put a little dab of solder in there and crimp that on there. So, not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. It's going to be a little bit tedious to do all of them, but it uh, should be okay. I'll see if I can show the process for at least one of them on camera. So, obviously, we got to cut the old connector off as close to the connector as possible, leave as much wire as we can. And we got to strip that wire a little bit. I'm going to tin the wire, but try to avoid melting the insulation as much as possible. Now, what I found I needed to do was, before trying to crimp the wire on there, is to take these ends here and try to at least curl them a little bit inward. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing on this or not, but... Uh, I'm going to try to curl these in if possible. Just try to apply some side pressure to get those started on their crimp. It helps me to put on a pair of magnifiers, some magnifying glasses. So we'll try this one more time. No idea if this is going to come out, if the camera's going to focus or what. But see if we can't. Uh, Crimp down on this. I think we're in the right neighborhood here. There. So that's got a hold of the insulation. Probably going to end up blocking the camera here. There. It's tricky to. Uh, Fold those over and 
get a good crimp on them. They might make a tool for this, but if they do, it's not something I'll need very often. So, see if I can make do with this way. The wire is definitely on there secure because it's soldered, even if the crimp on the insulation isn't uh, actually all that good. It's probably the best one I've done so far. They're overlapping, so not so wide and pretty tight crimp. Crimp down on one side first and do the other. Just one side, and then the other side. It's turned out pretty good now. That's six of them. It went actually faster than I thought once I got the hang of it. All new connector wipers. None of them bent out of shape. Should solve some of the intermittent issues I was having with my data set. And I get to see how well these slide back into the plastic housing. This is the front of it. This is the back. It should go in this order. Blue, brown. So, this goes in. Slide and click. There's blue. Brown. There's a nice click. White. I sure hope I'm getting these in the right order. Uh, then red. Feeling a positive click with each one. Green. This wire might be a little shorter than the rest of them for some reason. And black. There we go. Now compare that connector with what it looked like before. You can actually see all of the contacts. The wires all shoved back in there and get the clamshell put back on. The front part of this broke off long ago, but Back on the back side. Good as new. Got power to the tape drive, it's rewinding. Sense is working, motor's working, loading worked. Let's see if we can actually write. Writing complete, rewind. Well, it looks like it reads and writes just fine now with the new connector. Good as new. Thanks for watching.